After a long night of chuffing, Percy and Scruffy finally made it to the Farquhar Quarry. They were hoping to find some survivors, or anything that could help them. Percy chuffed into the far side of the quarry, and found what he was looking for. Rosie, is that you? Rosie had managed to survive the blast due to the quarry being far away from the power plant site. Percy? I thought nobody would find me here. I managed to get Annie and Clarabelle from the station, but I ran out of coal and got stuck here. Thomas left us at the station to try to go do another job. But ever since the power plant exploded, we haven't heard from him. Can you please take us to find him, Percy? Of course. The more the merrier, am I right? Yeah, plus, this kid knows his way around the island. We'll definitely get you guys to Thomas. Well, you heard them. And so Percy backed up and coupled up to Annie and Clarabelle, leaving Scruffy right behind Clarabelle. And then the four set off to try to find Thomas. Don't worry, Rosie. Once we get to the next station, we'll send somebody to bring you a shipment of coal so that you can at least get further away. Alright, Percy. Thank you. Safe travels! I hope Percy will be okay. What was that noise? What are you- Still bridge revision. First you put Verstead. Sail score put your bit crap. Rosso. Minya must win post violet. She told Cotinne Bnibur is a lamb on Benentine in this day. Oklesiet is slash that national city of radio slam the south straba. Back e govorish tovarish. Unaware of what just happened at the quarry, Percy chuffed down the line to try to find Thomas, as to fulfill Annie and Clarabelle's request. Oh, 
Percy, are you sure you know where you're going? We seem to be lost. Hey, why don't you two give the kid some slack? He's the reason that I'm alive right now. So, Henry, how did you end up surviving? I'm honestly not sure, Edward. I was out doing some jobs when all of a sudden I heard an explosion and then I sped in the opposite direction. I hope all my friends are okay. Well, you said that you saw Gordon pass by last night, right? So he's probably gonna be okay. Well, yeah, but he was heading in the direction of the power plant site. I'm sure he'll be okay, Edward. Percy continued to chuff through the night. The ashes of the sky made it hard to see, but he kept on going. WHAT THE HELL IS THAT?! What is it, Scruffy? What is that thing? I can't see it properly! Percy chopped faster and faster, the creature right on his tail. Scruffy could see it coming closer and closer. As Percy sped down the line, the noise of him and the creature's chase woke up James, who was sitting in a nearby siding. Was that Percy? And... Oliver? Percy, it's catching up to us! I'm going as fast as I can, Scruffy! Just calm down! The creature then slowed to a stop as Percy sped forward to his demise. I'm gonna crash! <laughs> <laughs>